Alrighty, hello everybody, Steve Wagon here, and welcome back to another episode of Dream Daddy, where last we left off, we had a nice little movie night date with Damien. We also found out that he is not so good at the whole horror movie thing. But he was brave, he was a brave boy just for us, oh, beautiful. So anyway, let's hop back into this and see what the day has in store for us. It's a beautiful night, and the air smells so fresh, so I decide to take the long way home. I casually stroll through the neighborhood, taking in the sights and sounds of a suburban city with a low crime rate and wide, walkable sidewalks at night. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, Jimmy Kim! As I approach the bar, I can hear patrons inside cheering. Oh, I bet the game is on. I wonder if my team is playing tonight. Oh, I bet they are, and I bet they're winning. I drop off wa- A drop of water hits my head, and now it's lots of drops of water. It's pouring raining. Maybe I should wait this out inside. Ah, you'll be fine outside. I order a beer from the bar and settle in. It turns out that my team isn't playing tonight. Shame. But I can certainly enjoy the game regardless. The bar is unusually crowded, and the feeling of camaraderie over a shared love for the game makes me smile. The sports are nice. Ah. I look over into the corner and spot none other than Mary sitting alone and in the corner nursing a cocktail Barry oh I remember you this miserable Mary I got there eventually uh, something about her seems different this time now that she's by herself and not hanging off some younger guy she looks so sad what are we what are we about to do I don't, I don't trust this. She looks up and half-heartedly raises her glass to me before staring off into the middle distance. Say hi. Keep watching the game. I shouldn't get involved in whatever she's doing. I should just enjoy the game, but it's not my team, so I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really care about what's going on in the game. Ah, she's here. The game has us together. I may as well say hi. I decide to go say hello. I walk over to her booth. She doesn't look up. This seat taken? She still doesn't look up. I take a seat anyways, and she finally notices me. Hey. Hey, cowboy. What was Mary's voice again? I don't remember. Hey, cowboy. No, that's... Uh, Hey, cowboy. Dot dot dot. Uh, you, you alright? Never better. She hiccups. Guess she's guess she's a little far gone. Ah. The tears start welling up in her eyes. Oh, yo, what? Do I I didn't agree to this bit. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hi. Right. <laughs> Will you walk a gal home? Uh, walk her home, call her a cab. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing this. I slide out of the booth. Seems like Mary's having some trouble getting up. I reach out a hand to help her, but she waves me away. I got, I got it, I got it. She clearly does not got it. You know what? Hang out here for a second. What am I about to do? I walk over to the bartender and pay Mary's tab. Whoa! I ain't going that far. I don't want to go that far. Hey, I don't know if you remember me, but I live in Mary's cul-de-sac, and I'm just making sure she gets home safe tonight. I know you. Yeah, it's nothing weird, just... Well, she usually has one of the bar staff walk her home, but I trust you. She doesn't, like, go home with... I don't really want to say it. Dun, dun, dun. One of the guys she meets, she doesn't do any of that stuff? No. 
No? I ain't our thing. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Ah, very interesting, Mary. You know, good for you. Good for you. I head back to her booth. Mary stumbles out of the seats and directly into my arms. Hey, yo. Hey, listen, I appreciate the gesture, but uh, ain't really my type right now. Oh, lovely. It's still raining a little bit. I take off my coat and hold it over Mary's head. Such a gentleman. Let's get you home. Mary and I walk in silence up the street toward the cul-de-sac. I have no idea what to say to her, for fear that she might hit on me, or not. What do the bartender mean by ain't her thing? Mm. Sorry, you have to see me like this. I'm usually not. I know Joseph doesn't like it when I just... Sorry. Eh, it's alright. Mm. I'm sorry if I'm ever mean to you. It's alright. <sighs> no, it's not. I know it's not. I am just... I'm having a really... Ah. Forget it. Darling. As we get to the cul-de-sac, I can feel Mary starting to slow down. By the time we arrive at the doorstep, she pulls away from me. Wait, can we just... Hold on. Uh, what's wrong? What's going on? Is that a problem? Hmm, Mary? Hmm, hmm, hmm? Hmm. Da, da, da. Oh. How about another drink? For old time's sake. Uh, come on, Mary. It's bedtime. Mary looks me up and down, giving me a half smile. Hey. Hey, my eyes are up here, lady. Hey. You're right. Okay, hurtful. <laughs> I don't know if I should be thankful or hurt. I'm both. She pulls me in close for a hug, holding on to me for a little longer than feels appropriate. She mumbles into my chest. Hey. You're a good kid. A thanks for the company. Ah. Mary gives me a pat on the back, straightens out her sweater, and walks the rest of the way to the front door herself. Get on her. Huh. Hey, I think we did it, right? Welcome. We did it! You got the Yay! Oh, dude, Craig has just been talking up a storm with me. Hello, Amanda's dad. Craig? It's me, your friend Craig. Okay, it is Craig. <clears throat> it's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports. I have nice and smart children who are good at computers. Ah, man, great to hear from you, buddy. What's up? I am still strong. Strong. I am strong! Huh, don't I know it. Uh, say, I've been reading up about whey protein. You use that at all? I figure it helped me develop a bit more muscle. Yes, I know what that is. My children are having a tea party, and they wanted to invite Amanda, but we can't find her on here. You're also invited. A physical invitation to follow. A uh, cool. I'd love to come. I'll let Amanda know. Well, uh, thank you, Amanda's dad. All right, I guess we're going to a tea party. Let's go, baby. Coffee time. You know dads love coffee. Gonna brew myself something black as midnight on a moonless night. I put on a fresh pot and work on a few word jumbles while I wait for it to brew. Hey, this one spells sorrow. Dad, are you ready for today? I'm ready for every day, sweetie. Gonna tackle it head on. Mm. No, are you ready for the thing that we're gonna do today? The thing you promised you'd do? Honey, I already told you that I'm not going to throw away my Tom Clancy novels. Hmm. They're just stacked in the living room. 
I keep bubbling into them and knocking them over. You don't even read them! Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. Was the tea party bad? Nope. Nope, I don't remember that at all. I think you're just pushing away from the Tom Clancy thing. Hmm. Hmm. A Craig's a kids? That hand-drawn invitation? <sighs> Amanda walks over to the refrigerator and comes back with a hand-drawn invitation on a sheet of computer paper, inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to a tea party. They spelled cordially wrong. Just put some... Put on some going outside pants and let's get going. I can go outside in sweatpants. Nothing stopping me. Hmm. Bad. Just. Ugh. I'll see you in a minute. Uh, put on some going outside pants. <laughs> oh, fuck authority, baby. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. I'm not only going outside, I'm going to meet a friend. I have to put on some going outside pants. Huh. Oh. Oh, well then. Something tells me that these kids are into sports as well. Bra- 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 I think. Hello! Thank you for coming to our tea party! <laughs> oh, that's awful. I do my best bow and present my daughter, who thanks them with a curtsy. Oh, this this way, please. Yeah, they look like twins, so they're gonna have the same voice. Rare and Hazel lead us to a small table with tiny chairs. Some are occupied by stuffed animals, and Matt and his daughter, Carmen Sita, are here too. Is this our first time seeing Carmen Sita? No, I'm pretty sure we also saw her at the cookout, but I just don't remember. It's an old dad brain up here. Matt raises a comically small plastic teacup at me. Hey, dude. How's the tea? Hey. The imaginary tea is absolutely wonderful. Taste a hint of lemongrass. Hello, Carmen Sita. Hello, Mr. Amanda's dad. She also doesn't- nobody knows my name. <laughs> Please, have a seat. I sit down between Amanda and Matt. Huh? I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this chair. Hey, uh... Hi, everyone. Who's Daisy? Hey. Oh, wait, Daisy and Brian are here? <laughs> I also forgot who Daisy was. Again, dad brain. I turn to see Daisy and Brian enter the backyard and take a seat next to us. Sorry we're late. Daisy made me put on my going outside pants. Yeah, tell me about it. See, Amanda? Hmm. Amanda gives me a knowing look and I return in oblig ob obliging wink. She rolls her eyes. Hmm. Is that really something your daughter had to pressure you into, Brian? I give Amanda another, even more exaggerated wink. <laughs> she rolls her eyes even harder. I thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules for some high tea. Actually, it's a common misconception that high tea was appreciated by nobles. <laughs> Dad, shut up! Okay, okay, yeesh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, it's some knowledge. But now, if you'll all put on your designated tiaras. Ah, huh. there are little tiaras sitting on everyone's plates. Well, except for Brian's. His is a softball helmet. Oh, we ran out of tiaras. <laughs> I don't think this is going to fit me. But I appreciate the thought. Dad, your royalty. Please, act like it. Oh. Brian tries to balance the ill-fitting softball helmet on top of his head, but it immediately tumbles off and into the bushes. What a shame. Not <laughs> the bushes. Oh, get that lighter. Hey, everybody! 
Greg comes out with a teapot and a tray of sandwich cookies. Ooh, delish. Dad, is the tea ready? Hmm. Uh, yeah. It's been, um, steeping for a while now. Us, awesome. Oh. Would you girls like to serve your guests tea? Huh? Uh, no, no, thank you. We'd much appreciate our servants' help. Craig leans over to me. <laughs> What's up, Craig? Oh. That's me, bro. That's me. I'm the servant. Craig places teacups in front of all of us and a single sandwich cookie onto each of our plates. He pours some tea into my cup. Hmm. Awfully fluorescent for tea. I clink my teacup with mats and take a sip. Good lemonade, bruh. It's tea. It's tea. Oh. Right. Very good tea. I lean over to Amanda, who's happily enjoying her tea. So, what do we do at tea parties, hmm? Where's the party thing? Hmm. Uh, we enjoy the splendors of upper-class society, father. She takes a dainty bite of her sandwich cookie. A marvelous. So, the meeting of princesses has been called to order. Ah. Here, here. But I am a warrior princess. I hunt and stuff. And I have, like, a really cool sword. Hmm. But can I be a space princess? I'll allow it. And I'll be a rock star princess. Okay, what was Carmen Cetus? I'm also a space princess. There's braces, so I'm assuming that she's gonna have, like, some sort of I'm also a space princess. Oh god. <laughs> so many people. Can there be more? Can there be more than one? Mm. A space is pretty big, don't you think? I changed my mind. I want to be a space princess too. Mm. Dad, what are you? Do I get to be a princess? Duh. Well, I guess that makes me. Ooh. History Channel. Hacker, rude, bo rude boy princess, baby, let's go. <laughs> I'm the bad boy of princesses. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I drop if I drop my crown on the floor, I'll make sure to pick it up. Oh God, my. My, my brain stopped working for a minute there. I'll make sure to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh. Nice. Hey. I think I'll be the landscaper and general contracting princess. Hey. Barista, prin barista princess reporting for duty. Dude. Hey, everybody. CrossFit princess here, man. Let's go. Not now, not now, servants. Mm. If it weren't for the princess uprising, it would be you serving me. We sip tea for a little longer, and then the girls run off to fight dinosaurs as space rock star warrior princesses. I think, I don't know, I'm confusing their children. They grow up so fast, it feels like yesterday that I was helping Amanda throw her own tea parties. Hmm. Did she make you a servant too? You betcha. I was the best damn servant there was. Carmen Sitsa made me actually brew tea for hers. Pitfalls of owning a coffee shop. Oh. Pitfall? Your custom blends are amazing. That hibiscus you... That hibiscus you gave me on a while back was choice. It's choice, okay. You old. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Hey. It's really nice. The girls are getting along. Yeah, I'm really glad we moved into this community. Oh. We are too. Amanda's been kind of a role model to them, you know? 
Has she? Ugh, I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust that. <laughs> I haven't even realized. I don't even know if Amanda does either. But I guess they're right. All of the girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She seems to go out of her way to play with them. Yeah, wait. It, my Amanda is like trying to go to college, right? She's getting acceptance letters. She's much older. I I'm forgetting that bit. Dot dot dot. I'm so proud of her. Oh, I'm getting teary eyed, man. I'm getting teary eyed. Oh, she's a, she's just such an amazing, amazing person. Oh. You better not proud dad cry at this tea party, Steve. Oh, I'm already there. Dot dot dot. I brought extra word jumbles if anybody wants to kill some time while the girls play. The day rolls on, the girls all get tuckered out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking their pictures, promising that she'll send them the best ones later. Aw, she's just so good with them. We all clean up and help put away the tea sets and tables. Then head out as Daisy and Carmen Sita fall asleep on their dad's shoulders. Aw, it's so adorable. Oh. Up, oh, just us. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Hi, rude boy princess. <laughs> yeah, rude boy princess in the mm. house, baby. You want dinner? Hmm? <laughs> nah, I filled up on cookies. Me too. I'm tired. Mm. I did same. Playing with a bunch of little kids who all simultaneously want your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting. Mm. But in a good way, but also in kind of a scary way. How so? Huh. I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior for them. I don't want to let them down. Is that because you still feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? Amanda. Hey. I corrupted her dad. She secondhand smokes now because of that one thing. <laughs> well, those kids really look up to you. I'm glad they have you as a role model. Hmm. A shucks, Pops. I ruffle Amanda's hair. Aw, oh, like a little... You're such a good... Jesus <laughs> Fucking talking to her like a dog. <laughs> Run through the finish line. Welcome. Let's go. You've got dads. Oh boy, do I. Anyway, I think I'll end it there. This is gonna be a little shorter than my last few. But I think that's a good little stopping point before before our next little thing. I'm pretty sure how is it going right now? Yeah, Damien's got two. Brian also should have two. Yeah. And Matt. Yeah, that's right. We're going on a date with Matt next time. So be prepared. Because who knows what we're going to do. We were in the pit last time. I don't know how we're going to top that with Matt. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this as much as I am. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. See you later.